In the previous tutorial, we looked at the layout of Adobe Flash CS6 and some of the basic tools that we can use in Adobe Flash CS6. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to move an object from uh, one part of the screen to another using an effect called motion tweening. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new file. So under create new, we'll click on action script 3.0. And we'll start a new file. And the next thing we need to do is to change the size of our animation. So we'll click on modify. Oops. Click on modify and document. And then the document settings window will come up. In the dimensions, the width is currently set to 550 pixels, PX, which stands for pixels and the height is set to 400 pixels. So we'll change the width to 1280 and the height will change to 720. And this is the standard resolution for 720p um, HD video. We'll leave the units as pixels, so we won't change that. And the background color we'll leave alone, we won't change that. The frame rate is currently 24 frames per second. So in every in every second of our animation, there'll be 24 frames being played. So we'll leave that as 24 frames per second, that's fine. And we'll click on OK. OK, now our animation is quite large now, so we need to... Um, fit that in the window so it's a little bit easier to see. So click up here and click on fit in window. Now we can see everything that's going on in our animation. Okay, so to um, animate an object, the first thing that we'll need to do is actually make an object to move. So we'll click on over on this side. We'll grab the rectangle tool, but we'll click on the arrow beneath it and we'll choose the oval tool. So I'm going to make like a ball that will bounce across the screen. So select the oval tool. <coughs> the stroke color will just leave um, blank, so we'll have no stroke color. So we'll click on that red slash to have no stroke color. And the fill color um, could change the color, but I'll leave it as uh, blue. Okay. Now, we want the ball to start on the left side of the screen, bounce up and down, and move its way to the right side of the screen. So, I'll draw the ball up. So, click and hold down the mouse to make it bigger. But, we're using an oval tool. So, if you just click and drag that out, it won't necessarily be a circle. We want a we want a ball, so we want it to be a perfect circle. So to do that, you can hold down the shift key, and that makes it a perfect circle. So hold down the shift key, find the size that you want, and let go. Now just grab the selection tool and move it to where you want it to start from. Okay, so now we have this um, ball over on the left hand side of the screen. We want to move it over to the right and we want it to bounce as it does that. So all we need to do is we need to click on that ball, that um, shape, then right click on it and click on create motion tween. But there's something that we need to do first. We need to convert um, this object, this shape, to a symbol so that it can be used over and over again in our animation and it'll be recognized as a object. So click on OK to convert it to a symbol and in the properties tab we can give it a name so we can just call it ball and leave it as a movie clip. Okay. So we select that ball again you can see on the timeline we only had one frame before, just one frame. But now, 
Flash has inserted 24 frames. So our animation now goes for one second and it's 24 frames there. And it's jumped to the end of those 24 frames in the timeline. So if we grab that slider, the red slider, drag it backwards and forwards, the ball hasn't actually gone anywhere. It's still at the left hand side of the screen, it hasn't moved. But we have a second of animation. So on the very first frame, the ball is at the left hand side of the screen, but by the last frame of this motion tween, we want it to be over here on the right hand side of the screen. So what all we need to do is click on that shape and drag it across while we're on that um, last frame of the motion tween, the 24th frame. And there we go. So Flash has inserted this line here, this green line, and that green line is the path that this shape is traveling across the screen. So if we grab that red slider, and drag it backwards and forwards, that ball is now moving across the screen. You can go back to the first frame and click on play and watch it go. That's all happening in one second. And this blue section here now between these two keyframes, it's blue because it's a motion tween. And tween basically is short for in between. And a tween effect, a motion tween effect, is where um, Flash will insert a whole heap, of, whole heap of frames between two keyframes and the object isn't changing in those keyframes the ball hasn't changed at all there's, um, there's still a ball still the same object nothing's changed there but it has moved it has changed location so we've got all these in between frames here between the, that first keyframe and that second keyframe Okay, now, at the moment it's just moving across the screen in a straight line, but we can make it look like this ball is bouncing. To do that, we just need to go to different points on the timeline using this red slider tool, and we can make the ball bounce here. So if we go somewhere around the maybe six, seventh frame, and click and drag that ball down to the bottom. And now you can see that the path has changed direction. We can move across a little bit more. Maybe drag it up. A little bit higher. Move across again, further down the timeline. Drag it down. And there we go. We have a bouncing ball. So click on play. And we can see that that uh, object is now moving across but going up and down following this green path that we've set. Now at the moment it's just a um, straight it was a zigzag line, straight lines. It doesn't look very natural. So what we can do is we can actually edit these lines to make the bouncing look a little bit more natural. So we can click We'll move the mouse over one of these lines and you'll see the cursor changes shape, it has a little curved line next to it. If we click on that line, hold hold the mouse down, click on it and drag that line to the right. You can now make it a smooth curved line. You can do that with all of those lines. You click and drag just to smooth those lines out a little bit and make the bouncing appear a little bit more natural. Go back to the start, click on play, there we go. Alright, now this this animation only really goes for one second, it's not very long. So if we want to make this longer, then we can go to the motion tween here on the timeline, and take our mouse cursor to the end of the motion tween on that line, and click and drag that out. We might make this about 100 frames. So let go. So now it should be roughly about four seconds long. Go back to the start. Click on play. It's now about 
4.1 seconds, playing at 24 frames per second. Okay, so that's how you move or animate an object using the motion tween tool in Adobe Flash CS6. If you'd like to save your animation, you can click on file and then save or save as, and that will save your animation as a project, which you can work on again later. You can also export your animation to a, a number of different video formats, animation file formats, by clicking on file and export, and then export movie, and you can choose which format you'd like to save it to, and then you can upload it to the web or uh, copy it to a disk if you like. Hey, thanks for watching.